So let's talk about medications in the clinic and how we get uh, medications labeled or dispensed to our clients. So in the clinic, the veterinarian could give you an oral order. And basically, it could say, give Fluffy one tablet of 500 milligram cephalexin. So you want to make sure you repeat it back to the veterinarian so that you are clear and he is clear or she is clear on what you are to do. You want me to give Fluffy one tablet of 500 milligram cephalexin? They should say yes, right? Or if there was a mistake, let you know what the mistake is. They can also do a written order, and this is usually in the medical record, though sometimes it may be on a medication sheet. And basically this says, give one tablet, PO, 500 milligrams of cephalexin. So this is telling you to give that tablet. So once you have done either of those, you need to make sure that it's written in the record. So here's our record. Um, we gave it today at um, 3 o'clock. We're going to administer one tablet of 500 milligrams of cephalexin PO. And then your initials or your full name. Okay. Now, if the doctor then tells you that they would like you to dispense some medication for this for Fluffy to go home, you would write three, uh, the date, the time, and then dispense 500 milligram cephalexin tabs, the SIG, one tablet PO, BID times 10 days, and then the quantity that you uh, dispensed, which would be 20. Again, then your signature after that. In a medical record, you can use common abbreviations. Uh, don't make your own abbreviations. Uh, use the ones that are standard and everybody can recognize. Okay. If it's something that your client decides they want to take to a human pharmacy or something that your clinic isn't carrying, you can send, you can send it out to the human pharmacy. It is completely legal for a human pharmacy to script out medications. It's perfectly legal for them to fill those prescriptions, okay? So there needs to be a prescription form that's sent out with them. It's going to have the name of the clinic, the name of the doctor, the owner's name, the patient's name, the date, and the age of the animal, and then it's going to have the SIG. So basically, this is the directions. One tablet PO BID times 10 days. The um, name of the drug, cephalexin, the strength of the drug, 500 milligrams, and then how many days they want it, or how many is the total they want, so 20 tablets. The signature of the veterinarian needs to be there, and then the other thing that's important is the refills. How many refills does the veterinarian want to give? Now, Let's say you're going to make that prescription label in the clinic. So here's our label. This is what's going to be on the um, container that you send with the client. It needs to have the name of the clinic, the address, the phone number, the name of the doctor dispensing the ordering, uh, scripting out the medication, owner's name, patient's name, a date, and then you're going to write the, the directions. You want to make sure that you write out the directions. Do not use abbreviations. Do not use um, uh, any of the like PO. Clients don't know what that means. So you need to make sure that the label is clear and specific to what the client needs to give. So give one tablet by mouth twice a day for 10 days. You need to make sure you include how they're going to give it in here, um, especially if it's uh, medication that can be given, um, it's drops, may accidentally go in the ear instead of in the eye. So it's very important you write that on there. So uh, the name of the drug, cephalexin, 500 milligrams, which is the strength that we're giving, how many we're giving out, so there's 20 tablets in that bottle, how many refills that are on there, and then uh, you may have a, something like give with food or keep refrigerated.
Some extras to include on the prescription model, you may want to include possible side effects may cause vomiting. You certainly want to make sure you include other instructions. If this medication is a suspension, they need to shake it well before they give it. Does it need to be kept in the refrigerator? Okay. Childproof cap is a must because kids get into veterinary medicines just like they get into human medicine. And the other component that I feel is essential for a technician to know and to remember is client education. It's your responsibility as the technician, if you are dispensing the medication to the client by order of the doctor, that you make sure the client understands how they're going to give it, why they're giving it, when they need to give it, and then what to do after they finish the prescription. So how are we gonna give it? We're going to give one tablet in the mouth. Maybe give some suggestions on how to pill the dog or put it in a little bit of cheese. Um, how to pill the cats. Why are we giving it? Well, does Fluffy have an infection? Right? So Fluffy has an infection, so we're using this antibiotic to help with that infection. Please make sure you use all of the medication. Okay? When are we going to give it? Well, we're going to give it twice a day. So we gave Fluffy one in the clinic at 3 o'clock. So you might want to let them know that you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning, which probably isn't going to be what they do, but at 3 o'clock in the morning, they need to give the next pill. Okay? And then what to do next when the prescription's empty? Do they need to come back into the clinic? Do they need to have a recheck? Can they just get another refill? So these are the things that clients need to know when you are giving them their prescriptions.